Hey, you guys. Come on in. Come on in. Happy Boss's Day. Come on in. Come on in. We about to get into it. I already got the squash going. Sauteing the squash. Y'all know how I do it. I come on and get everything prepped before you guys jump on with me. How's y'all Saturday going? Hope it's a blessed one. So y'all already got the squash going with those onions off in it. I'm going to add a couple little seasons in here. I got my broccoli already prepared and ready to start being steamed. And then I also have... Also have my pork chops waiting to go into the air fryer. So y'all see I already got the goodness going. I'm going to turn that down. Add in a little olive oil. I had started it with a little butter. But I also like a little mix of olive oil off in it when I'm sauteing. Hey you guys. Hey you guys. Come on in the room. Join me for this virtual lunch. I ain't going to be before you long like the minister say at church. I ain't going to be before y'all long. This is a quick, uh, quick lunch today. Making everything pretty much, yeah, from scratch. So y'all get to see my skills today. <laughs> Most of the time I Rachel Red, but today I'm going to take a little bit extra time. So for those of you who are just coming in, this is your first time on a live with Pam. I am Pam from Be Fit For You. My platform is and my life is being fit. And that's being fit spiritually, being fit emotionally, being fit physically, and definitely being fit financially. So I'm glad you guys are coming. Please don't let this be your last time. So today what I'm doing is, hey, today is Boss's Day. I was like, you know what? We got a lot of bosses out here, whether it's on a job, uh, whether it's just what you do with your small business, you are a boss. So I'm celebrating you as well as myself. I'm no longer a boss, but I'm a boss in my brand, okay? Thank you, guys. So come on and hang out with me. Come on and hang out. Yes, getting that squash all the way together. So today, guys, of course, y'all know I got to have my cocktail. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. So this is uh, Amarillo Sour. I had to give me some Amaretto because I was out of the, all I had was a sour. So now I got it made it together. This is my drink. <laughs> I love this Amarillo sour. Yeah, no Amarillo, just all sour. So I had to go ahead and get my drink. It's a good old cool Saturday here in Central Texas. Where are you guys at? If you come in on the replay, let me know you were here. Let me know where you're from. A lot of people watching, and I do appreciate you guys. I, I gained so many new followers and likes this week. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Continue. If you feel it in your spirit, please like, share, follow. I appreciate it. Hey, come on in the room. Let me know you're in the room. So I'm going to put you guys over here in the skillet so you guys can see. I had a squash already going, and I have my salt, my sea salt. That's what I use over here, you guys. For those of you who are just coming in for the first time, I only use sea salt. I'm all about being fit and being healthy. So I got a little black pepper and a, a little bit of sea salt, probably about a fourth teaspoon of each. And I just kind of sprinkle it. I don't really measure. I just kind of eyeball what I have in my pot, what I have in my skillet, I eyeball. That's how I was raised, and that I'm not going to get away from that. All right. Then what I do is just take my little spoon, stir it around. Y'all, this smells so good. I love squash. Does anybody else like squash? I didn't like it growing up. Man, you couldn't get me to eat this growing up. Oh, no. And my auntie, my Aunt Otta, would make it with cheese. You know, because kids, we, as, when you're young, you like anything with cheese on it. Broccoli and cheese, cauliflower and cheese. You know? <laughs> she tried to get us with it, but I wasn't falling for it. Now, I, I can eat it just like this, sautéed, and, and I'm, I'm good to go. So, you guys, I have my broccoli in my microwave, in my little pamper shelf steamer bowl. I'm going to get that going. 
while we're doing this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get those pork chops. I already got them seasoned. Let them sit in a marinade. Uh, hey, hey, fam. Thank you for joining. Uh, before I go and put the meat into the air fryer, I want to let you guys know. I already seasoned it. I used some Slap Your Mama. Slap Your Mama ain't never did nobody wrong unless you got slapped by your mama. Um, but that's another day, another time. Also, I used the garlic, garlic and onion black pepper sea salt by McCormick's. And I use some paprika because I like color to my meat when I'm cooking. And then I, my base was some olive oil. So that's what I did to season my pork chops. So I'm going to get you guys over so we can um, see those going into the air fryer. So you guys hold on. Let's go on over here to the air fryer. Y'all just seen a whole like <laughs> of the house, but hey, y'all family, y'all see the whole house. Y'all see the whole house. Every single Sunday from his home in South Sydney, you'll definitely enjoy. All right. So let me get y'all over so y'all can see the air fryer. Voila. I got my Sears XM going on today. Got some jazz going. Yes. Y'all know how I do. Gotta have my music. Gotta have something going. Can't have quiet space. So I got four pork chops that I have seasoned so perfectly. Voila. Going in. I have two trays because I have four. I like to place them so they'll cook evenly. At the halfway mark, these are going to go in for 12 minutes on 400. They're kind of thin, so I'm going to watch them. So you may see me pop back in over here. I like pork chops of all sizes. They can be thin. These kind of like a breakfast pork chop. But we're having lunch today. Having good old lunch. What are y'all having for lunch today? Let me know what y'all have. Or right, maybe it's dinner tonight. Okay, so turn it on. We're getting pork chops. Got to take it up to 400 degrees. And we need 12 minutes. I hadn't did an air fry uh, tutorial in a whole minute. So I was like, you know what? You need to do one, Pam. You definitely need to do one. You haven't done one in a whole good minute. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you. You know, I'm still trying to get this whole camera thing down. So, ooh, left the, they taste good at the second day or, or whenever you have them because all the season being got off into uh, that spaghetti. Man. You guys see me? Oh, yeah, y'all can see me. Just want to make sure y'all see me. Going over here to stir up this cat, this uh, I'm gonna say cabbage squash. Woo, smells so good in here, so so good. We got my okay. I gotta make sure I watch my my chops. Yes. So tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to do the lasagna rolls, roll up. I've never made them, but I'm a pro, and I can do it. <laughs> I'm not a pro, but I'm one of the ones I can go out on the, on the ledge and do it. Um, it seems simple enough, so I'm going to do that tomorrow, probably about the same time. So if you guys want to make it with me, I'm going to uh, post everything you'll need to make it to, uh, with me tomorrow. If you want to follow as I, go, as I do it. I'm going to prep a lot of the stuff before I get off into it. So all my meat sauce will be prepped. Of course, my noodles will be cooked. So actually, the part that you guys will actually see is me actually putting it together and rolling it. So I will post the picture of everything you need if you want to make it at a later time, if you don't make it tomorrow. So that's what's going on tomorrow. Let's check this broccoli. Woo! So I got my trusty steamer. 
And then Nicole, if you come in and watch this live or you see it on the replay, just know that Miss Pam loves this pamper shell steamer, honey. You can't even get me to part with it. I love it. Look at that steam coming up. I can get a facial and be cooking off the same time. <laughs> I can get a facial, a broccoli facial. So let me just check. I like my broccoli to be a little bit, you know, soft, but not soggy. I'm going to let it go. It had a minute left, but I think I'm going to let it go a little bit more. Yeah, probably to that minute is up, and then we'll check it again. Then we'll season it. Yes, so everything here today is like keto friendly. Very much so. Got my veggies and meat. Okay, get that started again. Y'all know I got clean because I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand to see it. Do you have one already? Do you have an air fryer? The trick is that when I was doing my research, Pam, um, I was seeing people, what they would do is making sure that it was, it had like some type of oil on the meat because if not, if you put it in there, it's gonna just really fry out. So then your meat's gonna be like real dry, but if you give it like a protective seal, like either with olive oil or vegetable oil, I have never used like any other oil. So, I mean, I don't think it would probably hurt if it's like a peanut oil or canola oil. Just some of those oils have a different high, uh, what they call it, temperature, um, intake temperature. So, you're probably going to either cook it fast or cook it slower. So, you just probably want to like do some research on that. But the ones that I use is olive oil and vegetable oil. You gotta, you gotta use it. I love, love it. I had, I hadn't done it in a while because I've been making stuff in the oven. It's been getting kind of cool here, so I've been making stuff either in the oven or on top of the stove. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make uh, these air fryer pork chops today. Okay, y'all. Let's check. Then yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the ingredient that I put in on my squash. You don't have to do it, but I do it. <laughs> let my broccoli it's still a little bit too much of crunch for me i'm gonna do about two more minutes and we got two more minutes before we before we turn our pork chops too so we're doing really well all right i'm gonna turn this down and i'm gonna bring you guys over so y'all can see this secret that i'll be doing Yeah, you can spray the rack. That keeps it from, from um, I sprayed my rack before I put those in there. That keep it from sticking, but that doesn't keep the meat from drying. I like to put a little, a little uh, sugar in my squash. And don't y'all, don't y'all bash me because some people be putting sugar in their beans, whether it be red beans, whether it be sweet, whether it be black eyed peas. Or baked beans. Oh, I like a little sugar. And I see people doing the spaghetti too. So look, I like a little sugar in my squash. I have friends who did not even eat squash until they till they met me. And now when I, they like squash. <laughs> so I got about two friends. They're like, I don't like squash. I made it. I'm like, okay, you don't have to eat it. And they said, well, I'll try it. You don't have to. Now they love squash. So, it's just how it's made. Some people, you know, like I said, growing up, I did not like squash. I did not, I did not, I did not. But, as I got older, my, uh, you know, taste buds have changed. I'm giving y'all a real close up today. Hey, if you're just coming in, Thank you for coming in. If you're coming on the replay, I appreciate you coming in and watching the replay. All right, had to come back over here, you guys, so y'all can see me get these turned over. Woo! They looking good. I always put me a pan right there because I hate the, the messiness of the juices that be coming on this glass right here. I got some gloves, too, that... I bought just so I could deal with this air fryer. <laughs> I had to go get it. 
Look at her, y'all. Turn it over. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. Man, it smells so good in here. So good. Man, my lunch is gonna be good. Ooh. Y'all, my mouth is watering. Y'all gonna hear me slurp in a minute. I pray not, Jesus. <laughs> You know, when some be good, your saliva uh, glands just be in overdrive. Be like, man, I don't want to embarrass myself today, y'all. So I'm, I ain't gonna let y'all see it happen. Not on the live, not on the live. <laughs> All right, so it's got six more minutes to go. Six more minutes, okay, and my broccoli. Went off, so let's go check it. Trying to be extra careful so I don't drop my stand, you guys. All right, I have turned down my squash and let's see about this broccoli. All right, so you got I knew it, I knew some, I knew somebody in here put put uh, sugar in it again. But but it's like it says when you put in um, sugar in it in the spaghetti, it usually cuts the tartness or the part of the um, the sauce. So I get it. I understand. Woo! Now my now my broccoli is just the way I want it. Just the way I want it. Can you guys? Yeah, y'all can see. And I use usually just season it and put all my butter in, in this container right here. So I'm gonna drain. And then that's another thing I like about this steamer too. It has a little uh, spouts on it where you can drain it and get the water off. And kind of like one and a two in one. Um, get it all off right there. And I got my butter over here. Oh y'all. I love broccoli. Didn't like it growing up. Could not. Mm -mm, you couldn't give me the. Mm -mm. They put that on my plate. They be like, you gotta clean your plate. You can't. You can't get up from the table too. Oh. <laughs> the life of being a child when your taste buds have not matured. So I am going to get to have my. Salt and pepper. Once again, I don't measure. It's just the eyeball game. What's in here? It's high season. I'm going to put this in there so that butter can melt, melt. We got four minutes on the meat, but I think I'm going to look at it before I actually, you know, be like, yeah. Any. No, it's actually 12 minutes total, and then six at the halfway mark of the 12, you flip it. That way it cooks evenly. And three minutes. Woo! Right. Gotta make sure I have it together. Alright, so that's my that is my steamed broccoli going. Yes. Woo. Yes, now I got my butter in there, it's all melted. Yes, good, good, good. So we'll get that plated. Get it plated so we can plate it and ate it. 
Y'all ready so we can plate it and eat it? See, this was a quick lunch today. A good nutritionist, nutrition lunch. I'm still struggling with these, these braces still got me struggling to be great, but I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't gonna worry. <laughs> I know the ear results is gonna be wonderful. Y'all can best believe I'm gonna wear my retainers though, this next go around. So I got my, got my broccoli put together. Like I said, I want to make sure that it turned out good on these pork chops. Yep, it's about to go off here in a minute. Y'all know I'm about color. The meat gotta look right. That's another thing about air fryers. You, you gotta like once you start really cooking with it, you and you if you start cooking the same things, you kind of like know what it's supposed to look like, or you know, like when I turned it over, you know. So I think I'm gonna put these in for about two more minutes. And you said why? Because when I, I have a little chart, and the chart said about 12 minutes to 14 minutes. So I was thinking with them being kind of thin, I could go with the 12, but I think I'm going to do two more minutes. So guys, hang on. Hang on with me for just a little bit longer. Two more minutes. And we will have deliciousness. Two minutes, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna flip them in this two minutes. I'm just gonna, it's just kind of like, you know, finishing it. All right. Lasagna roll up tomorrow. Anybody thinking about making them tomorrow? I'm telling you, I'm excited because one of my one of my followers on here, she made made a, a lasagna, and I was supposed to go by and get it, but what had happened was I didn't end up going because I ended up prepping and doing stuff for Be Fit for You, so I ran out of time. So I still had that taste that I want to have me some lasagna. So I'm going to make it tomorrow. I'm also going to make, I got like a little salad I'm going to have with it and some garlic bread or some cheese bread. So I like, I like cheese. So y'all going to see me make the lasagna too with two different types of cheese. Most of the recipes I was reading are things that I see most people just use mozzarella. But I'm a cheese type of girl. So I'm going to have some mild cheddar and I'm going to have some mozzarella because of what? Uh, that's my business. <laughs> I definitely am going to have two cheeses. Yes, I got to have a cheese -E. I got to go back to H-E-B today, Lord, because I went and got my groceries, you guys. 
I ordered some bluebells, pralines, pecan, and cream ice cream. Why don't people give me butter pecan? Now, I'm not dissing butter pecan because I used to like it, but my favorite is pralines, pecan, and cream. And, and don't y'all be making fun of me. That's how I say it. I'm so country. <laughs> so I got to go take that back today, sometime today. So see, that's how I be running out of time. I've been coming up trying to plan all the meals, all the little ideas that I want to make for you guys. Do y'all like when I do the recordings or do y'all like when it's live? Let me know. I'm going to do a little bit of both because I know everybody's schedule. You got to do things. So if you come in on a replay, you know, I understand because everybody's busy and it's weekend. So I get it. So that's our veil. It's time to get our pork chops out so we can plate it and what? Ate it. Yes. We about to plate it and ate it. All right. So guys, let me show y'all the finished product. Yes. Right, hold on, you guys. Hold on. Ooh, they smell so good in here. So good. I love my little gloves that I, I found at Marshall. I was tired of getting my hands burned. That, that cup towel wasn't working as well as this. Ooh. I love these little gloves. I got two of them. They came in a set. Y'all see that? Yeah, get out the way. Yes. So see, fam, if you when you cook it with the oil, put a little oil. I marinated these with olive oil. You see how juicy they are. So yeah, you want to spray the pan so that they don't stick. But you want to uh, give a little coating on the meat. Yeah, that is so nice. Get into it. Oh, I wish it was a. Uh, let me get it back right here. Ooh, I wish y'all could smell what I smell. I promise y'all. Mm. Get, get into it. Get into it. <laughs> it smells so delicious. And see, that's why you guys, I like using, I also like using paprika because see how it gives it a nice color to it. And like before, when I didn't, like, you know, the first time, it's trial and error. It, it was looking real pale. It needed more time on the beach. So I, um, you know, said, let me find out. So now I've been putting paprika on it. On any of my meats that I make, if it's chicken or whatever, I make sure that I use paprika in it because it gives it a great color, like a golden finished color on it. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to get it plated we gonna say grace gonna break bread a little bit and then i'm gonna get on out of here y'all i'm hungry i am big hungry i have not eaten breakfast or anything nothing i was like waiting waiting for this moment no i had to go run some errands this morning and go meet up with my sister the one that was singing that's fit for you <laughs> If your sister or your family is not supporting you like that, just throw away the whole family. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even be mad at her. I wasn't mad at her. She was like, at my front door. Be best fit for you. You know, hey, the point is, she looking and she supporting. And that, I appreciate and love. So, I'm going to put that there. And I already put my veggies over there on the table. So, you guys... I'm gonna come back and get y'all over here. Yes, it smells so good. Oh Lord, I have done it again. What do you say on the sun? It's another one. <laughs> Gotta get my trying to unplug. There we go. Gotta unplug. Give y'all another tour. <laughs> I don't mind. Y'all family. Y'all family. Y'all know, look, at the beginning I started doing this, I, my phone would drop. I think I was telling y'all, I think it was just nerves, you know. Now I feel like I'm, I'm becoming better at it one day at a time, all days at a time. So, yeah, I feel more, you know, confident in when I'm moving around and doing. But I was just told, like, yesterday about 
some type of particular um, camera or something that I could get that will actually move when I move. I can just set it on a tripod and it actually has a software in it and it would actually move and I wouldn't have to like move it around. But so that's more research and I'm gonna get to it and find out. But maybe the person who told me about it will go ahead and send me the, the, the stuff and then I won't have to go and do all the work because they more technique, technical, no. Is that a word? Technical, that's the word. More techy than me. All right, you guys, so got the squash. I'm gonna put this on here because I need to do a print screen later. So there it is, you guys. Look at her. Lunch time. Look at her. Oh my. Lunch time. And it's keto friendly, low carb. Got my broccoli, steamed broccoli. Got my sauteed squash. And got my air fried pork chops. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to say a prayer. I'm going to do some little housekeeping after that, and then I'm going to let you guys go. So, I thank you, Lord, for the day. I thank you for this blessed Saturday. I thank you, Lord, for those who are in the room right now, for those who will come back on the replay. I thank you, Lord, just keeping us all safe and sound. Protect those, Lord, that are sick right now and those who are recovering with COVID, Lord. I ask that you let this food service nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Be fit for y'all. What? Amen. <laughs> All right. Let's get into it. Y'all, yeah, I got to try the squash first. I don't know what that look. It smells so good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So delicious. Mm-mm-mm. My broccoli. Mm hmm. Not soggy, not crunchy, just right in the middle, just like I like it. Got my B50 for you tumbler. Shout out again to Miss Delicia. Y'all hit up. She's the one making those, those tumblers, those Dallas Cowboy tumblers, any tumbler you want. She created. Oh, yeah. I can show y'all. See my other shirt I got? She made these, too. Be fit for you. Be fit for you. Be fit for you. And then she got fancy on me and put my... Uh, be fit for you. Like, beefy. I don't know if y'all can see that, though. Yeah. See, B-F-F-Y. Be fit for for you. Yeah. When your vendor know more about you than you know about yourself. Okay. All right. So let me get in this pork chop. Mm, 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 mm. My mouth is wild. Jesus. Y'all, you know I got hot sauce. But I'm going to try it without the hot sauce. So, and then I'm going to put the hot sauce on. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. If you don't dance either in your mind or in your body when you eat some food, mm -mm, it's not good. Mm -mm. Even if you go to a restaurant or somebody else's house, if you do not dance, whether in your mind or throw it away. What do I? <laughs> Food that make you dance is good for the soul. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, it does. Oh, you said do chicken. Okay, I will. I have. Do I have one on there that I did? I think I have one on there that I did, some chicken. Uh, I did. Damn. I have a video on there because my, my older brother didn't believe that she could air fry chicken and it come out with a crunch without it being. I did one with a coating, but I did one that I didn't do with a coating. 
I actually just put vegetable oil on it. I seasoned it, put vegetable oil on it, and then I had it on a live. And then uh, everybody got to hear the crunch when I um, bit into it. But I'll do another one. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So, you guys, I know y'all got to go. Because I got to go. Because I got to get ready for tomorrow. Y'all want to join me for that lasagna roll-up. I promise you, you do. It's going to be good. I got, I'm putting some Italian sausage in it. And some brown chuck. Y'all know I'm all about my meat. You got to have some meat. I'm all about, yeah. So that's going to be in there. Yes. I'm trying to think how to make it spicy. Might even put some fresh jalapenos chopped up in my sauce. But creative mind is thinking about that. But I'm going to let you guys go. But I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Very much so for all the support. For all the encouragement. I want y'all to go over to let's, um, Be Fit For You, Let's Cook. Make sure you're over there. Uh, for those who are engaged and are coming, I thank you. Um, also, uh, if you feel it in your spirit. Now, if you, if you don't, I understand. But if y'all feel it in your spirit... Please like, share, follow my videos, my page to those of your friends, family, your neighbor, your church member. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate it. So you guys, those of you coming in on the end, we had a Wayne Dane Doodle over here today. Made these air fried pork chops, some sauteed squash, honey. And it's broccoli, steamed broccoli, keto friendly, low carb. Can't be, can't be selling beef fit for you, and I don't eat or beef fit for myself, right? So that's what I did today. I do it every day. I got my water, even though I had a special drink today with my emerald sour. I still got my water. I always gonna drink my water. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all come in tomorrow and check me out tomorrow. Appreciate it. See y'all later.